You know, one of the many things that we have learned here in the Kirby and Holloway kitchen is that the perfect dish is a whole bunch more than just tasty food. Yeah, so much more. The best food awakens all five of your senses. Oh. Uh, your taste, of course, uh, sight, touch, smell, and, and really to some degree, sound. Put that all together and you have what we like to call the wow factor. Well, Dave Wilfong is the executive chef at the Pines in Rehoboth Beach and he definitely knows how to put wow in a dinner, don't you? That's, that's the goal. That's the goal, okay. <laughs> and you're going to show us how you do it as well. What are we making? I am. I'm going to show you, and you're also going to do it. So. No, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, putting us to work. Oh. What are we making? Of course. First. Um, so we're going to start out with a, a very simple, very delicious, and awesome dish. Um, it was brought to be, or conception, just by the seasonality and wonderful things we had available. Um, so we're going to start out. Uh, we have sushi-grade tuna, Good. which has been wonderfully sliced uh, by yours truly. <laughs> and so. It's very quick, very simple. The first thing you'll do is you'll start out just by putting these, you just dip them right in this mixture. It's uh, lemon juice. Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's a uh, lemon juice, a little bit of seasonings, and a little bit of mustard oil. Okay. You dip it. And this uh, Himalayan salt block is a wonderful and beautiful thing. It kind of uh, salt cures and parts a little bit of flavor, but like not too much harsh saltiness. Interesting. Right. Um, so there's no salt in anything that we have on this, because you all have the salt, salt you guys from the board, mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha, all right, okay. You don't want to over salt it. So you just lay it on there and it yeah, just kind of gets into the... And we're gonna spend probably about 30 seconds on each side, maybe mm -hmm. a little longer because I like to talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, Dane, the show's only an hour long. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a, su a sushi grade tuna, you say? Yeah, sushi yeah. grade tuna. So uh, what makes it sushi grade is the amount of time that it spends and like how beautiful and wonderful mm -hmm. it is. How yeah. much time it spends from the boat to where it is. Sometimes we get the stuff straight from the fishermen, which is fantastic. It will come from the dock to the restaurant, which, I mean, yeah. can't get any more delicious no, impression yeah. than that. Mm -hmm. right, right, something so I should be doing in the meantime. That's what I'm about to put you to. Oh, okay. We're going to start shaving this asparagus. Right. Uh, just that's it. like that. Shave nice little ribbons. Asparagus. Shaving and, uh, the asparagus. Yeah, okay. Good luck. Have fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when you put it that way. <laughs> And so what goes into the slaw? Uh, to keep it nice, light, and fresh, there's no actual cook to anything in there, because again, we're going the crisp crunchiness of the dish. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have shallots, you have garlic, you have um, heirloom cherry tomatoes, the fresh asparagus, a little bit of lemon juice, white balsamic, and mustard oil, mm -hmm. and just a little bit of seasonings like toasted red pepper flake. Why am I not having any success shaving the asparagus <laughs> here? Uh, um, thing? Uh, What's a, uh, well, let's give you another is this, one. Is this really a high level skill that uh, I uh, just don't have this no, okay. set for? It's, uh, okay. it's, it's early in the day yet. All right, so you want to uh -huh. kind of give yourself this okay. much space. I can, I can. Because if you start over here, you can't really reach it. I can do this. <laughs> I, I can, okay. Is that how you shave? You go up and down? <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> right, he does a glorious job. <laughs> Sorry. I've just been standing too far away from it, that's all. Mm -hmm. All right, did, now all right. do we need to turn that over? Yes, we yeah, do. Yeah, because you said 30 seconds. Is of course, it, I love so salt. You'll start to see the little bit of coloring. Oh yeah. And so if you do, you can take this as far as you want. You leave it on there all day and let it cure all the way through and mm -hmm. it be kind of like ceviche, if you will. Okay. So uh, we do have a high citrus content and with the salt, the dish is pretty much safe. But you always want to use sushi grade if you're eating any kind of raw tuna. It's right. It's fresh, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, do you reuse the salt block over and over again? Yes, um, so it is antimicrobial by nature because mm -hmm. it's salt and you use it to cure things mostly and kill bacteria. Um, but you just heat treat it, you put it in the oven, probably like every, after every use is safe, um, but it is fine otherwise. And yeah, and then it's good to go. It's good to go. Eventually it'll dissolve away and you can grind it up and just use it as salt. And, so. and Himalayan pink salt is actually a little healthier yeah. than like your iodized salt. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, and it has a little bit of a different flavor. There's mm -hmm. so many different salts out there from so many different regions that some people prefer it, and it's got a lot of health benefits. And it's pretty, too. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right, so, so Jimmy's done shaving the asparagus. Use some of your asparagus here. I'm going to be doing here. this for the rest of the show, so I'm just shaving mm -hmm. asparagus. Yeah, there you go. Well, you know, it's, we we got to get to work tonight, so get to it. Oh, <laughs> okay. And we have a whole other recipe to do, so. Yeah, oh, yeah. true, yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. Okay. So then you just take some of the slaw. It's uh, nice and a little bit wet, and just kind of plop it right on there. I want some of the tomatoes to show. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's it? We're almost done. Almost, oh, okay. Now it's just the garnish. You know me, I'm ready to dig in at any point. Right. And so now you just gotta make it look a little pretty, right? Okay. These are uh, fresh microgreens from a couple local farms. Uh, well, local to us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's what's important. That is. Right. 
And uh, so we have bull's blood, which is a micro beet, and then we have uh, uh, micro wasabi, and then a corn shoot. So and then we you eat. guys can grab a fork, get a little bit of everything on there, and hopefully not on yourselves. Uh, right. Well, it's okay if we do. Well, yeah, you are yeah. wearing <laughs> fancy the chances of that actually happening, that's a whole other issue. Well, thank you for showing us this. This yeah. is awesome. And we've got another one, another recipe, right? Yes, we yeah. do. Uh, the other recipe is butterfly pea risotto and yeah. seared scallops. Okay. Thoughts? Oh, that is so yeah, liking it. good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's so good. <laughs> All right. Sounds well, like the flavor keeps coming out. It does. It, just looks it so does. Surprised. Uh, we're gonna come back. We're gonna make something with scallops. I'm really excited about that. Don't mark my life. We'll be right back.